to share a little bit with everyone uh, about your background. Uh, you know, Dawn, this beautiful woman sitting across the table from me, happens to be the captain of the fire department, right? Um, yes. And uh, she's a motivational speaker. And um, she also trains uh, people in, um, in uh, what is it, like uh, a massive uh, rescue? Or, uh, I, I, I'm probably not terming it properly. Well, with the fire department, I actually trained uh, 5,000 EMS providers on how to prioritize victims of uh, major incidents. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. See, I knew I wasn't phrasing it right. So, how does someone get into that type of field, <laughs> a woman especially? Well, it was a, basically a family business uh, where my two uncles were paramedics. And, you know, be it as it may, when, when we're young and we have a, a little baby at 21 years old, I needed a job. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have and two of them, right? But they're not babies anymore, yes, but we'll get into yes. that later. And uh -huh. so, you know, at the time, I, you know, became a paramedic. And here I am 20 years later. I'm a captain in the New York City Fire Department. And, you know, I've experienced tremendous uh, chaos and trauma, but have also been able to draw on my spiritual foundation in order to take those experiences and actually show people how to make the best out of a horrible situation. Yeah, that, that, that must weigh on you. Uh, you know, that definitely has to weigh. I always wondered about occupations such as yours because you, you see like mishaps and chaos and death and, and just like all the things that we don't really, that we see on television, but to see it in real life on a regular basis, what type of impact does that have on, on, on your, yourself? Well, there's post-traumatic stress disorder, which a lot of rescue personnel suffer from, uh, as well as military personnel, and also the other people who are close to my heart, which are domestic violence survivors. Um, it, it's all trauma, and so it's all post-traumatic stress disorder that affects people. I live with post-traumatic stress since I was a young little girl, living in a household full of domestic violence. Right, which is where you came up with Milagros Day. Let's just share with everyone about Milagros Day, which is named after your mom. Yes, um, Milagros Day Worldwide is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, we, and we provide leadership coaching to survivors of domestic violence, which in the same vein is really taking your circumstances and what happened to you, your tragic background, and using that to make something positive, not only for yourself, but for other people around you. Beautiful, well said. And um, as I always share with my viewers, you know I'm a domestic violence survivor and I am a domestic violence awareness advocate. So yay to Dawn for actually creating something to transform people's mm -hmm. lives. And um, we're happy to have you here and sharing that and also what you have in store for the new year. Yeah, so it's fabulous. And throughout my journey, you know, the, the way that we, what we teach is what we've lived. You know, and, and so what I lived, and it's particularly in the last three years, is designing my life. Hours and hours, days and thousands and thousands of dollars that I've spent and invested in myself and in my personal development. And through that, I was able to compile all of that into a game plan. And so basically, this is design your future, and this is the place for you to make it happen. And, you know, when you make a choice, action follows very quickly. Right, it, it follows with uh, you, your choice. Right. So, how do you conduct the workshop? It's more of like mm -hmm. you do it for yourself. Yeah. Well, I love that you said that, Rena, because what you're talking about is people's comfort zone, and you know, guess what? Being in your comfort zone is what keeps you stuck in your routine. And so that's the very first exercise in breaking out of your comfort zone, is actually relating to people from all walks of life, from all different cultures, and really finding out that we're all the same when it comes down to it. Right, mm -hmm. so um, let's just say somebody listening right now is like, they're like, oh, that sounds interesting. I wanna start my new year off like that. Um, <clears throat> is there information that they can review to kind of like, prepare themselves right we have a uh, a blueprint basically that you'll actually be filling out so that you'll have your whole year planned and then the great thing is the peer accountability system and so that's where whether it's people that you came with or people that you met there or people in your own life that you can enroll and involve in keeping you accountable to doing those things that you said you were gonna do that's hot I, that's a wonderful way to actually start your new year it really is 
It really is. So design your life in eight With Dawn years. Diaz. With Dawn <laughs> Diaz, of course. With Dawn Diaz. Hello, we have her here. And, yes. and thank you so much for taking some time to come and share this with us, Dawn. I, we really appreciate it. Thank you. I've been wanting to come and talk to you for quite a while, so it's really my pleasure, my honor to be here. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that.